is up happy thursday i'm dropping my new episode of the subplot today with my amazing guest jeff grace jeff directed a hilarious and awesome film that i love called folk hero and funny guy it premiered at tribeca film festival and is available everywhere he told a story on the podcast which you can see right after i'm done talking about how he quit his well-paying job in advertising to pursue comedy full-time and the only job he could find to support himself in the meantime was as a waiter in the same building that his advertising job was you gotta hear this story. Around the age of 30, I left my ad agency, and then I was like full-fledged doing the comedian, like nightly, I was waiting, I, like, I literally went from working in an advertising agency to working in the restaurant, in the base of the building. Wow. Which was a real humbling experience, because people would walk into me, and I'd be wearing like a waiter tie and shirt, and, and they would be like, Jeff, what are you doing here? Right. Uh, like, how, how are you doing on like, Altoids is the account I was on? Are you, yeah. how, with the, how are things on Altoids? I'm like, I actually quit my job a couple weeks ago, and. May I show you to your table? Um, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I mean, that takes, like, a lot of balls to... I mean, also, I think just bad strategy in terms of you should have picked a different restaurant. But no, I tried. <laughs> I, 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 look, I look for restaurant jobs all around town. And eventually, I learned that you had to lie about having waiting experience. And I even had, like, a friend that, like, had been a manager of a restaurant to, like, tell me like, all the things I think I should say in an interview. Right. But the reason I got hired at that restaurant is because they knew me from bringing clients there all the time. And I, I, my pitch then was like, if I'm a waiter here, I'm going to be bringing in lots of big hitting, like customers. <laughs> they didn't care. <laughs> and, but it kind of worked. Already right. pitching, already pitching. I was, already I, was like, the pitch. I was like, if you hire me to be a waiter here, I'm going to be bringing in lots. And I, in my mind thought, well, all my clients and people are going to want me to wait on their table. Like, yeah. no, they wanted to be so far away from my odd, like the guy that just quit the agency is now waiting on me. Um, so, so you had those experiences where you were actually waiting on people. I was waiting on. Uh, I would be waiting on former clients, um, like media reps that used to take me to, like Bulls games. Now, where right. like I was like, any and more water. It was a very odd experience, and it was very humbling because uh, uh, you know, you, and I kind of liked it. You know, sort of like the opposite of what I've been doing. It was sort of a bohemian. You know, I was doing the whole thing where you're like going out and getting drunk with the other waiters at three o'clock on a Tuesday night. Right. You know, they're sort of like, I could wake up, at, you know, I could get out of bed at 11 o'clock on a Thursday. That seemed really awesome. Right. Um, and so when, they, when you would run into them, would you say like, yeah, I'm pursuing the dream. I'm going for the passion. Is that kind of what? Yeah. It, and people, I mean, when people hear that, they're of course like, yeah, I think maybe behind my back, they'd be like, that guy's a fucking idiot. But um, to your face, they would be like, oh my God, that's amazing. Right. And, I'll, and you know, and your close friends are very supportive. Right. I mean, even though I think everyone secretly is like, good luck. Click the link to check out the whole episode and have a great Thursday. See, I never thought I'd get the chance to do some things of all.